A big night here in Chesapeake Energy Arena as the Houston Rockets come to Oklahoma City and take a last minute loss at 112 to 111 to the Thunder. Guys like Paul George, Russell Westbrook, Stephen Adams, Jeremy Grant, and Terrence Ferguson all set up to have big nights. But Brady, just take us through this, this game and tell us what went right. Yep, the Rockets held a 14-point lead midway through the fourth quarter. Just looked like a game that, despite the Thunder being able to make runs, get it to within 11, 9 points here and there. Chris Paul, Gerald Green were just hitting shots left and right. Just looked like that kind of night. And then the Thunder defense just really uh, amped it up. Uh, they went on a 15-0 run to eventually take a one-point lead with about two minutes left in the game. And then a series of unfortunate event of events led to the Thunder looking, staring pretty much at a free throw hole where they probably weren't going to get out of it if James Harden missed a free throw. That's exactly what happened. James Harden misses that big key free throw with nine seconds left. Uh, let's the Thunder go down. Russell Westbrook dribbles down the floor, finds Paul George, who is just draped by P.J. Tucker in the corner, hits an off-balance three with 1.7 seconds left, and then the Thunder defense holds at the final buzzer with James Harden all alone at the top of the key. I mean, there were 18,000 people that were just scared out of their minds when Harden put that shot up. But overall, it was a game the Thunder needed to win. Uh, they somewhat controlled their own destiny. They still have to depend on a few things to happen here and there, but they took care of their business. And now the six seed is a little bit more realistic than it was a few hours ago. Yeah, a playoff-like atmosphere here inside the arena. But we'll take you into the locker room to hear from guys like Terrence, Russell, Jeremy, Stephen, and Paul about tonight's win. Uh, no, just uh, sticking together, uh, sticking to the plan. Um, you know, playing Thunder uh, basketball. You know, just things are our identity, and uh, I think we, we got a lot of stops at the end. Um, we pushed the ball, we played fast, and, and that's our game. And we got the, we got the W, so it worked for us. We got stops. On demand, made it tough for them. Uh, they're making tough shots throughout the third quarter, but we stayed with it and uh, stayed true to our principles. Um, we were anticipating a make. Uh, we have a little set play for that situation. Ended up being a miss, and then they sent about three guys at Russ. So yeah, it was just basically just reads from there. It turned out pretty well. Um, yeah, so that's a play right here. Hit me, flick mm -hmm. it back, hit P. Yeah, I mean, ended up working out pretty well, but it was still. It was still somewhat the play, but just the start of it was just a bit different, you know, so, yeah. He, he was in the right position, yeah, went to the right spot. What did you think about the way you guys played, particularly in that fourth quarter? What was different maybe um, during that big run you had? Uh, started hitting shots. I think uh, came out with a sense of urgency, um, played some good defense and uh, support out the win. Yeah, eight, I think eight straight stops in the middle of that fourth quarter. What were you guys doing at a high level during that stretch? Uh, just communication, keeping the ball in front of us. Uh, they was hitting tough shots throughout the game and uh, started missing a couple uh, in the fourth. Jared, what did you think about the way that Steven Russell and Paul executed that final play? Uh, it was great. Uh, it turned out uh, nah, for the better. Um, yeah, I mean, it was, it was great. Yeah. You, you ended up on Harden several times. What was your focus there? Uh, just getting to the ball. Um, just kind of trying to throw his rhythm off. Um, yeah, make him make him drive. Don't let him shoot uh, any open three. Uh, it felt good. Honestly, it felt good. I bobbled it a little bit as the shot went up, but um, still felt good going up. Paul, for better and for worse, um, you had the not hitting the game-winning shot kind of follow you in your career back in your Indiana days. And tonight, you hit what is essentially the game winner, and it's your fourth game winner this year. How does it feel to reverse that narrative a little bit? Um, I mean. It's indifferent. I mean, that's, I'm going to take those shots every time I get them. Um, and that's part of the game. The ball goes in, goes out sometimes. Paul, I think Billy said that y'all had a play designed for if he made the free throw. But um, you guys were able to scramble and execute really well you know, in that scramble situation. What did you think about the way that, you know, particularly Russell and Steven were able to execute considering, you know, you all expected James to, to make the free throw. Yeah, I mean, it's just good players making something happen. Um, Russ made something happen. Uh, you know, he attracted everybody. Played a little pitch game with Steve-O, um, which still att uh, attracted everybody. Um, I mean, I was free enough in the corner, um, and he found me. And just make the shot. Now this was the final home game of the 2018-2019 season, but the Thunder are on the road for a second night of a back-to-back -back in Milwaukee tomorrow night, and that will conclude the regular season. But playoffs are approaching, and Brady and I will see you right back here in Chesapeake Energy Arena whenever that will be, but stay with us on Twitter until then.